Welcome guys, we're going to be sketching the graph 2x squared plus 8x and as you can see it's a quadratic graph once it's squared it's a quadratic so let us get right into it and this is part 2, we already did part 1 I have a Cartesian pin over here so let's go so the first thing we need to know we need to know the first thing we need to know the y-intercept we we'll put the y-axis we need to know the orientation of the graph whether the graph is curved up or curved down we need to know where to choose the x-axis and that is known as the roots so let us find out the minimum turning point also so first we bracket off this factor the 2 2 into 8, 4 alright so let's go now we, we, we need to find a half of this and square it to put in order to put in a third term so a half of 2 would be 2 but we're also going to square it alright so let's tidy up now this will give us x squared plus 4x 2 times 2 is 4 and this is 10 now what we did, we, we put in a 4 that was not originally up here. So in order to do, to balance the equation, we need to take out this. But remember, this 2 is not just 2, this 4 is not just 4. It's multiplied by 2 because bracket means multiply. So the value of this is 2 times 4, so that would be minus 8. So we put in a plus 8 and we take out a minus 8. Alright, all we have to do now is just solve or rather factorize this would give us negative 18 both of them are negative so we add so all we have to do is factorize this and we need two numbers when we multiply them it gives us 4 and when we add it it gives us 4 that can only be 2 so this would be in the form ax plus that so the vertex or the, the minimum turning point will be negative 2, negative 18. So this is the lowest point on the graph. What we need to know now is where it cuts the y -axis, x axis. So the x axis is the line y equals 0. So what we're going to do is to equate the equation to 0 and factorize. It can be long and tedious. So but guys, I'm not going to go through that. It's already on the channel. You need to skip through. So to that, it will be 20. So it will be 2x squared plus 10x minus 2x minus 10. If you don't understand this part, you have to go back. 2 into the, with factor of the 2x, so it will be 2x, x plus 5, and minus 2x plus 5. So therefore we have x plus 5 and 2x minus 2. I remember we're supposed to equate it to 0. So therefore x will be equal to negative 5. And this, when we have 2x equal 0, I'm just showing that step there. 2x minus 2 equal 0. The curve of the 2, it becomes positive and we divide by 2. So x is one. So x is negative 5 and x is negative 1. That means the graph is going to cut the x axis at negative 5 and positive 1. Alright, let us look at drawing, not sketching the graph rather. So what we know, this is the y intercept. What this means, it means that the graph is going to cut the y-axis at this point. So this is the y-intercept. So we can just put that in. So we know the graph is going to cut it right here. Right? And this is positive, so it means that the graph is going to come up like this. But guys, if you notice, the graph is going to be more over on this side because 5, let's put in the negative 5. Let's estimate these, you know. So you see the graph shape, but we're not finished yet. The curve part, it means the minimum point is going to come down somewhere down here. So why? Because it's at negative 2, 18. So it's below where the y-axis, we cut the y-axis. 
So let us just estimate 18 to be about here. So that means the graph would come something like this. Put it at 1. And then we go up to negative 5. So this point is the minimum turning point. This point is the, let me just use the red one to highlight it. Where we cut this, this is the y intercept. And right here, where the, that, that point is 1 and negative 5, these points are the root, right? And as I say, the orientation is a smile because this is positive. If we add negative 2x squared, it would turn up like that. And we have a maximum. So let us label this. This is the minimum turning point. Also, something is very important. We can also, they can also ask for a line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry. And that would be a line or an equation that cuts it in two identical parts. So when you fold them together, they will, so that would be the line x equal minus two. So this is known as the, let me just tidy it up. Line of symmetry. And it is this line right here. X is equal to negative 2. Because on this line going up, X is always negative 2, right? Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is Mr. Bennett. I'm out. No doubt.